our next objective should be to head to Samaru City and find a way to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. And speaking of Lesser Lord Kusanali, even though we haven't heard too much about her, she doesn't seem to be the same deity who abducted your sister. But even so, people call Samaru the Nation of Wisdom, you know. If we can get a chance to meet the God of Wisdom, maybe she can give us some useful information! But, uh, Paimon doesn't know the way to Samaru City. Maybe we can climb up to that spot with the Statue of the Seven on it. That'll give us a way better view of things. Even if we can't see exactly where the city is, at least we'll be able to check for some smaller settlements nearby. Wait a second. Look! There's someone up ahead! Perfect timing! Now we can just ask for directions rather than wander around. Hey there! <laughs> We're not from around here. Huh? Uh, did they not hear Paimon? Hey! You over there! Could you give us some directions? Huh? What's going on here? There's no way she could have missed that. Oh, wait! Could she be ignoring us? Hmm. Well, even so, she might be heading someplace where we could find other people to act. When we get the chance, we'll just ask someone else for directions. Come on, let's follow her. Just keep quiet. Make sure she doesn't notice us. This world is... Sure. Lead 
to a village or something. But, uh, it looks like that's not the case. Look, she's sitting over there. What, uh, what should we do now? Do we try asking her for directions again? Hmm, it looks like she's meditating or something. If we bother her now, she probably wouldn't let us off very lightly. Oh, it's coming from that sensor over there. This is definitely not your typical place to call home, but at least it smells nice. Hmm, maybe living here wouldn't be too bad. Huh? What's the matter? You don't look too good. What? Is the smell making you feel sick? Trap? Yes, you can relax. Believe me, Master is extremely knowledgeable. If he says that he's going to be all right, then there's absolutely nothing to worry about. Oh, are you awake now? Oh, thank goodness! Traveler, you're finally awake! Well, we're at... Uh... Good question. Where are we? Haima was in such a panic when you passed out that she even forgot to ask what place this is. This is Gandarvaville. It was originally built by scholars from Sumeru as a place to rest in the rainforest. My name is Kale. I'm a trainee forest ranger. Oh, no, no things are necessary. I didn't do anything, really. By the way, how are you feeling now? Any discomfort? Oh, <laughs> that's Master's herbal medicine you're tasting. He gave you some while you were unconscious. Uh, before I forget, Master mentioned you should take more medicine once you wake up. Ah, whoops! <sighs> Kale, what's the matter? Were you trying to retrieve the medicine? As I've already told you, you... Uh, <sighs> now... The guide to Avidya Forest's edible fungi is clearly posted on our bulletin board. But if Farbode forgets which mushrooms... Right? This is the second time he's come down with food poison. Yes, please do. If... Um...
So, how are you doing? Oh, this is my master, Forest Watcher Tainari. I already informed Paimon about the reason you fell unconscious earlier. But now that you're aware, it is common practice for Sumeru scholars of certain darshans to dedicate themselves to training and meditation in isolated areas particularly the nearby forests. In hopes of asking directions, you two followed a scholar named Hapasia into her cave. The incense you smelled inside was the spirit Borneol I just mentioned. That incense typically has no effect on most people, but for a very select few, it can have profound effects on one's cognition, as you experienced firsthand. Does that make sense? Very good. Now, Answer me this. Did you feel anything after passing out? Say, any out-of-body experiences? Or did you see anything while unconscious? Hmm. Kale, let the others know to stop bringing their patrol logs here for now. Huh? Wh why Because these two will be staying here for the next few days. They can have my room and I'll bunk with Amir. Now get a move on and be sure to do as I've said. Yes, Master Tainari. Uh, wait, hold on a second. Uh, can you tell us what's going on? Sure, let me fill you in. I originally planned to send you on your way once you finished your medicine. However, it appears now that you should stay a while longer in Gundarvaville for further observation while... Further observation? No need to be hasty. As long as you have the capacity to judge between right and wrong, I promise that you'll understand the gravity of the situation based on what you saw after smelling the incense and losing consciousness. We can conclude that you experienced a powerful hallucination, which suggests your mental state is not in the best of shape. If you're skeptical, have a whiff of this. Ooh, are you okay? You're experiencing a similar sensation as when you passed out, aren't you? So even though your condition is stable as of now, if I were to haphazardly let you leave, it the rainforest is home to many fierce animals and hazardous areas. If for now, I suggest you continue taking your medicine each day and avoid wandering off on your own. At least until you stop having adverse reactions to this kind of smell, okay? Good. Now continue resting while I fire up another bowl of medicine for you. Seriously? We just arrived in Sumeru and we're already having problems left and- Paimon knows we're set on meeting Lesser Lord Kusanali. Uh, hey! Are you even listening to Paimon? Paimon's over- What's weird? You mean how you're feeling now? You mean, the vision of tree roots and red skies you saw? But if those weren't hallucinations, what could they be? Well, considering how unique you are, Paimon trusts your judgment here. But why didn't you say anything about it to- If you misjudge your condition, then there's a chance you could get worse, right? Huh? You mean that Tainari already knows that what you saw weren't hallucinations? But if that's the case, why would he try to hide that from us? Oh, Paimon gets it now. That explains why you were so quiet earlier. Well, that settles it then. We'll stay here to rest up and figure out what's going on with your hallucination. But it seems like asking Tainari might not be an option anymore. <sighs> what do you think we should do? Good idea! Kali's pretty friendly. We... Rise and shine! Come on, it's time to go find Kali! All right, next let's see, right hand. Hmm, yes, not bad. But please remember that you still need to be careful, understand? 
Yes, I will. By the Look, Kale, today's patrol will be a long one, so you won't be coming along this time. But I have a vision too! Don't talk like that, Kale. This is not something you need to be worrying about. Ah, there you are. Feeling any better? Yeah, since we'll be staying here for now, we thought we might as well try lending a hand around. <laughs> Seems you're not the type to sit back and take it easy for a while, huh? In that case, perhaps Kale could take you two for a patrol south of Gondarvaville for the day. And if you're feeling up to it, you can be responsible for cleaning the Statue of the Seven. Tenari, we're ready to head out. Roger, I'll be right there. All right. Yes, you can... So, Kale, what exactly are we going to be doing today? Tenari mentioned cleaning the statue just now, but, uh... That well, a forest ranger's responsibilities can be pretty diverse. We handle a variety of tasks, like checking the condition of outlying roads, maintaining forest facilities. As for Master, well, he has to handle more dangerous areas of the rainforest. Today we can perform routine checks on the pathway lamps as we make our way to the Statue of the Seven. Paimon, traveler, this way. You can leave the task of checking the lamps to me. In the meantime, you two can keep an eye out for anything unusual. The rain stopped. I don't concern myself with the weather. <sighs> Nothing wrong with these two lamps. Let's move to the next ones. to be getting a little wobbly. Let me make a note of it. Hmm, no problems with this lamp. Good. The Statue of the Seven is up on top of that large rock formation. You must have seen it when you came down this rope. It's pretty high up there, isn't it? Don't worry. If you're afraid you can't make it up there, I'm sure Master wouldn't mind if you don't clean the statue. I guess I'll leave it up to you then. Paimon will fly up with you and help you with those ha Um, by the way, Kale, uh, that depends. Huh? Greater Lord Ruka Devata? Oh, is that the name of the former Dendro Archon? Uh huh. Greater Lord Ruka Devata was Sumeru's first Dendro Archon. She created the rainforest as well as the Wall of Samiel around the desert. Her works provided a means of peaceful living for everyone. To the people of Sumeru, she's not only a symbol of wisdom but also of power and kindness. Unfortunately, she disappeared in a great calamity that occurred a few hundred years ago. According to what Master has told me, the sages later found the newly born Dendro Archon and whisked her back to Sumeru. To celebrate the reinstatement of their lost deity, the sages dubbed her Lesser Lord Kusanali and let her reside in the sanctuary of Sarasana. Uh-huh. Then, well, and then... Uh... Huh? You're not too sure. Yeah, I'm from Sumeru. Maybe it's difficult to discuss this topic with strangers. No, no, it's not that. I'm not trying to hide something from you. Besides, I don't... A anyway, y you two know Amber, right? Wait, Amber? You mean... Yes, that's her. I once lived in Mondstadt for a while, and she helped me a lot during that time. You could even say that she helped me become a new person. There's no one like Amber. She lives life to the fullest while always adhering to her strong sense of justice. She's ready to answer the call for action at any... If you ask me, she's a prime example of a true outrider. Ah, uh, <laughs> sorry. is a little different from what you just described, but to one thing's uh <laughs> sorry. I was rambling on just now. It might <laughs> So how do you know that we've met Amber? Well, after I returned to Sumeru, Amber and I have stayed in touch by writing each other letters. In one letter, she mentioned that Mondstadt was attacked by a fearsome dragon. I knew you two were the ones she mentioned in the letter the mo Ah, so that's how you Yep. 
So please know that you two have my... I wish I could tell you more about the Ginger Archon. That's all right. You've already helped us a lot. We had never even heard of Greater Lord Ruka Devata or the Sanctuary of Surasthana until you mentioned them. Oh, I'm happy that was helpful. There is one thing I want to ask, though. Why do you two want to know about the Ginger Archon? Hmm... So that's why you're here. Don't mention it! We are friends after all, right? <laughs> all right, we have a statue to clean! You both have my thanks! At it. Hmm. Do you think she's supposed to be Greater Lord Ruka Devata or Lesser Lord Kusanali? You might be right. The statue does look kind of old. Well, anyway, we'll have to figure that out later. Let's get started on cleaning the stuff. Nice work. That's a one clean statue. Let's head down and meet up with Kale. Much. I'll be sure to give you a copy of the. Yay! The... Oh, <laughs> so, uh, Kale, don't you think that Tainari is a little too strict with you? Paimon knocks stuff over all the time flying around the Traveler, but he's never said anything. Everyone has their clumsy moments. No, no, you've got the wrong idea about Master. Uh, <laughs> sure, he may. I've heard the veteran rangers say that Master is from some ancient and mysterious race that is known for their cunning wit and reclusive nature. Oh, by the way, you've heard of the Academia, right? Well, there's a group called... Uh... Um... Um... Uh... Um... Boo... Something? <laughs> well, anyway, because Master does a lot of research on plants. Sages from that... But Master declines their offers every time, saying, Sumeru City is too noisy. It'd be bad for my ears. <laughs> Seems you already know him well. Anyway, I'm sure the sages were not happy about his responses. Master could obviously have a bright future in the academia, but he insists on sticking to the path of a forest watcher. In fact, Master's the one who- Really? Paimon would have never guessed the- Oh, speaking of Tainari, he was the one who took care of you after finding you passed out yesterday. Paimon's still kinda upset, though. He kept scolding Paimon the entire way here. Oh no, I'm sorry. Master might have been overreacting a little, but, uh, it's mostly because Paimon wouldn't stop yelling, Why, oh why, is he going to die? It probably started to get under Master's skin after a while. Hey! Don't laugh! Paimon was genuinely concerned about you! <laughs> hey! Now even Kali started to laugh! Ugh, that's it! Paimon won't forget this! It's time for some Paimonial wrath! Kale, Paimon didn't mean to... Uh, no, I, I just... Kale, 
Kale, are you okay? What's the matter? Noah, I'm... <laughs> I'm fine. Oh, well, it's getting late now. Uh, let's hurry back to Gandharva. Huh? What was up with Kale just now? And why is she in such a hurry all of a sudden? You've returned. Yep, we're back! Oh, Kale? Yes. Oh, okay. Guess we'll just have to wait and talk to her tomorrow. I'll stay here a while. She's in a better mood now. Let's go check on her. Ah, it's you two. I was just about to go... Huh? Tainari? What are you doing here? I came to check on Kale's condition. To... You mean she's sick? How could she be... Oh, wait a minute. Could it be because of what Paimon did yesterday? No, no need to worry. <laughs> something as small as you could never harm her. Uh, this sickness is something that Kale has been dealing with for some time. Kale has been more excited than usual since you two arrived. A little too much so, to be honest. She hasn't remembered to take care of herself. <sighs> I suppose it's understandable, though. She hasn't been around anyone she considered a friend for some time now. 
It must have been refreshing for her to have you two here. So, Tainari, what's really wrong with Kale? Um, let's take this conversation elsewhere. Kale just fell asleep after taking her medicine. She needs some peace and quiet. Useless! All right, let's continue our conversation here, shall we? To be honest, I hadn't realized that you're that honorary knight from Mondstadt until Kale told me just now. I've also heard all about your deeds in Liyue and Inazuma. So, just to clarify, what I'm about to tell you about Kale is not because of who you are or your past feats. Instead, I am going to tell you because... Well, because Kale asked me to. And honestly speaking, I was against Kale revealing her past to you. But she insisted, saying you two treated her with sincerity and as a friend. So now she wishes to reciprocate the gesture. So Tainari, what exactly is wrong with Kale? You said this is something she's been dealing with for some time. Just how serious is it? Right. Ever since she was a child, she's been afflicted with a disease called Elazar. Elazar? Yes. It's a disease unique to the lands of Sumeru. It is characterized by dark and hardened scales that form on the body. At first, the afflicted may only feel mild numbness on the affected area of the skin. However, as the disease progresses, one may begin feeling fatigued and even experience peripheral paresthesia. In its final stages, the disease strips a person of the ability to control their own body, and they effectively become completely immobile. That sounds terrifying! Wait, hold on. So when Kale seemed to be acting a little clumsy earlier, it was because... Correct. That would be the effects of Elazar, which is precisely why I do not want her carrying or holding anything, lest she ends up hurting herself. With appropriate treatment, the disease can be effectively controlled before it progresses to a more serious stage. However, there is unfortunately still no true cure for Elazar. Nevertheless, Kale's mother still hoped that there was something out there. She handed Kale over to an organization known as the Fatui after one of their members lied and said they had a cure. What? The Fatui? Ah, it appears you are already familiar with them. That'll save me some explanation. Anyway, the person who eventually rescued Kale and brought her to me for care said that she had been given to a harbinger known as the Doctor. I have no idea how this Doctor managed to do it, but her case of Elazar was completely stable for all the years that Kale was with them. However, Kale's days with the Fatui were anything but pleasant. Kale is a resilient individual and always tries to appear cheerful, but her experience with the Fatui has left deep scars. <sighs> Paimon had no idea Kale's been through so much s Oh, by the way, Paimon, Kale wanted me to tell you that she's sorry for scaring you yesterday. She also wanted both of you to know that she's sorry for hiding her illness. She doesn't need to apologize. Well said. I hope you'll get a chance to tell her that in person the next time you see her. Kale once thought that it would be impossible for her to have any real friendships. Don't worry, Tainari. We'll take good care of her. Well, it's not too serious at this point. She overexerted herself the last couple of days, which is what led to her breakdown this time. Though, I must admit that Kale's condition was much more stable when she first arrived here in Gundarvaville. She was interested in the work of the forest rangers the moment she saw us. I could see that she was serious about learning, so I felt compelled to ask her to join us. Her stamina has gotten much worse recently. Though a moderate amount of physical exercise is always necessary, I'm afraid the long-distance patrols are a little too much for her now. <sighs> All right. Now that I've told you about Kale's past, I think I'll head into the rainforest to find some ingredients needed for her medicine. Yeah! We'd like to do something to help Kale, too! All right. But I must warn you two. The rainforest is a dangerous place, especially for someone who's still recovering like the Traveler. You must... No problemo! Let's go, then. We'll be looking... to find this plant? Lunar Lotus can be found all over the rainforest, but it Hmm. 
given the name, it sounds like we should be looking for it in the water. You are correct. Lunar lotus grows in the water. When fully matured, they look like giant blue flowers floating on the water surface. Quite an attractive species, if you ask me. The large petals are actually the plant's leaves and sepals, which surround a very small flower. You should note that many of the plants found in Sumeru have names that are contrary to their species. All right, let's go. Take the Kalpalata, for example. The plant is not a lotus at all, but rather a vine. And then there's the Sumeru Rose, which is not a rose, completely contrary to its name. Oh! Huh. Um... Okay, then. New to Paimon. Never bring up the topic of flowers with Tainari. Come on, don't keep me waiting. No time to lose. Not bad. Not bad at all. my way.
useless. Worthless! There should be lunar lotuses growing somewhere in this- If you could manage to gather four of them, that would be sufficient. We'll rendezvous here once you've gathered the needed amount. Let me take a look. Hmm, good. I'm quite glad you two came along. Your exploration experience helped save me a lot of- Hey, Tainari! Oh, Tainari! Someone's calling- Ah, yes, that's Amir and the others. But didn't they just set off not too long ago? Let's go find out what's going on. Tainari, thank goodness we found you here. We were just about to head back and find you at Gandarva. What's going on? We just discovered a withering zone. The withering is back? But the patrol route you were on should have... Can you tell me the exact location? It's up ahead, deep in the river valley. It's appeared in a spot that blocks nearly the entire... And the radius of the contamination? Sorry, I couldn't get a clear... No one in our patrol team had a vision, and it appeared to still be spreading. Okay, I understand. You made the right decision. Wait, Tainari, why don't you let us help you? You two have only just arrived in Sumeru. There's a unique type of anomaly that occurs in the Sumeru. The affected areas not only cause nearby vegetation to wither, but it's also lethal to wildlife and even people. If you Yes, Amir is absolutely right. I wasn't kidding when I said the rainforest is... As Amir said, only someone with a vision, that is, the power to manipulate elements... That's right. If any of the forest rangers without a vision come, only someone with a vision can venture within a withering zone and find a way to deal with it. But you don't seem to carry a vision. Don't worry. He may not have a vision, but he's a real pro at using the power of the element. Hmm. It seems the rumors about you are true. In that case, all right, we typically only teach visitors how to identify the withering as they're about to leave Gundarvaville. Stop. Don't move any further. Look there in the distance. Huh? Where? Oh, look! Those plants have withered! That oh, Paimon doesn't like the look of- That is the withering. All right, traveler. We're going to have to enter that withering zone. Once inside, we'll need to look for what- Thank you. But I must warn you. Even with elemental powers, once you step inside the withering zone- You ready then? Let's go. First, we must locate any branches sustaining the withering zone. Useless!
great work. Now that all the branches have been cleared, we'll need to take care of the tumor. Wait, hear me. Now, destroy the tumors of the withering. Yes, thanks to you two. We were- Um, Tainari? You make it sound like we did well, but why does Paimon have the feeling you're worried about- It's that obvious, huh? Recently, the rate at which the withering zone appears has been increasing. Even though we were able to quickly clear that withering zone, it won't be long before another one appears. If that simply meant more work for me, then that wouldn't be an issue. But, for instance, even though we cleared out the withering zone, many of the plants that were affected will not recover. This presents a crisis for the ecosystem itself. And most disturbingly, as the appearance... Huh? But why is that? I'm still not sure of the exact reason. However, I've received word from acquaintances at the Academia that similar cases are being reported for patients with other conditions. No... None that we know of. The withering has been recorded in Sumeru for millennia. By the way, have you heard of Ermansol before? Ermansol is a tree located deep beneath the surface. Although it isn't like any tree we know in a biological sense, you can basically think of it as a large tree that grows downwards rather than upwards. I'm sure you've heard of ley lines, right? They're like the roots of Ermansol spreading and extending from a massive cavern deep underground all the way up to the surface. Ley lines continually absorb the memories of this world, which are then funneled into Ermin Soul, allowing it to collect knowledge and wisdom from ancient times to present day. The Dendro Archon is known as the God of Wisdom because her consciousness is directly connected to it, it is also said that the Dendro Archon's power is a manifestation of Ermin's soul. And as for the withering, its emergence is related to a disease that's affecting it. That's right. My ancestors learned of this from Greater Lord Ruka Devata's familiars a long time ago. I'm afraid we rangers will be battling the withering zones here for- All right, that's enough- No time to lose. That's close enough. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. This is gonna hurt.
There's quality here. Useless. Barbados! No time to lose. 